My name is Chika KK. I'm from Festac Senior College, Festac Town. And my name is Abba Chikazi from Redland Senior Grammar School. I am Okoba Ifakujai. My name is Obunna Blessing. Yes, a student of Girls Senior High School, Agigi, and an ambassador of Lagos State. The changes I've seen due to the ECO project. You know, before, education in Lagos was just like is something I have to do and because it's something I have to do because my parents want me to do it, to go to school. But now, due to the um, ECO project, because of the ECO project, we find out that most students, we want, to, we want to really, really, really take our education seriously and it has raised the competitive level in our schools. ECO project has really changed my life as a student because before now, that was before the inception of the ECO project, in SS1, we sit on bare floor because we had no furniture, no physical infrastructure. Our labs were things you can't even write about. And teachers, as she said, teach in abstract, things that you can't see. But now, after the core project, you know, surfing the net for information your teachers can give you would broaden your view about life, would broaden your view about reading. When I was in SS1, I would be frank here. I was a C student in biology. A C student, but when the corporates came in, our teachers went for training. They went for trainings, and now they are. I can boast to any student, any school, wherever they are, that we have some of the best teachers. In fact, the best teachers around. I would give an instance. I will always use my English teacher and biology teacher. She so always speak in abstract. In the last few years, when she comes, we tell the skeleton is this, skeleton is that, and there's no structure for it. But now, when she explains everything, if you bring the skeleton, I'll be able to label the parts for you. And now I'm an A student in biology because you have things that will show you what you are being taught. Our biology child comes to class now with charts. Like when she, the first day she taught us kidney, when we were in um, SS1, I was like, how does kidney look like? I don't know. But now I can now view ah. Kidney. So this is how it is. So it has really helped me. Most private schools, they're not writing um, exams. I would bring them back to transfer exams. I'll bring them back to public schools. So now the private school are even enticed to come to the public school. They want to switch and imagine the Lagos State Schools debate. Though the private schools were there, but the public school emerged as a winner. All this happened in the space of one year. The Lagos Air Corps project was launched by the Babatinde Raji Fashala government on March 16, 2010, as a partnership project between the Lagos State Government and the World Bank. The Lagos Air Corps Secondary Education Project is complementing the work of the state government. Right now, the state government is spending billions of Naira improving the infrastructure of our schools. They're renovating schools, building new schools, bringing in lots of infrastructural development to make life and to make learning much more conducive for the teachers and for the students. So in that way, making the environment conducive, making it comfortable. The government is spending billions of Naira doing that right now. And you know, you, we can see the change as we go to, from one school to the other. Now, what now needs to happen is to ensure that learning is taking place. And that's where Lagos Eco Secondary Education comes in. To support the teachers and the students to learn to teach effectively so that we can start seeing results. And the more results we're seeing, the more that we can say that money that government is putting in education is working. The result has been groundbreaking. Before the intervention of a, a core project, generally students always um, have this idea of not developing interest, enough interest in those core subjects. English, mathematics, and basic science. But with the introduction of this uh, a core project, honestly, this uh, is an intervention that has actually helped to ameliorate a lot of problems. So we purchased materials uh, that made learning more concretized. You know, they saw concrete things. 
you know, in form of the shapes, we purchased the projector and we've been using the projector. We purchased the CD player, which we have been using to teach oral English. We've been using the projector to teach English, maths and biology. And it has encouraged attendance. Actually, the ECO project has really done a lot in my life. First, it has helped to remove inferiority complex, like the Lagos State Schools debate. We had private and public schools. Actually, the um, public schools took first and second, which happened to be CMS Grammar School first, and my school, Lagos State Senior Model College. With the help, uh, with the use of um, CDs, we were able to listen to pronunciation of words, which really assisted us because in the debate competition, we're also told that you have to pronounce well and you have to make good use of your tenses. I have four children in this school. Two is in GS2, uh, GS3, one in GS2, and one in GSS1. Before the introduction of a core project, the, the two of them have been here, the one in GS3. But after the introduction of the ECO project, with the improvement I saw in them, that was what prompted me to bring the remaining children here. They all have admission into good school. But even without teaching them, they can operate the computer now. Even the one that they don't encourage them before, well improved. I got to my life when you to see previous life to one look. Tell it every one thing. You hardly differentiate them. See our man, public private school now. So he he go in here. Oh, she she and he did a lot on their life. Oh, she a lot. Let me be say one. Striving for excellence was the main factor, the main objective. In fact, it's enhancing students' performance is our overall objective. So if you're if you're you know improving performance. We need to change our attitudes, change our ways, and strive for excellence. It is when we are striving for excellence that we can start improving performance. Excellence means achieving what you set in your mind that you want to achieve. Something that you set to yourself that you want to do and become the best in it and go to the extra mile in achieving them. To me, excellence means aiming for the greatest heights. That's trying to be the best, Amal, because you're not the only person who wants to be the best. So trying your possible best to be the best. Um, in my own simple way, excellence means to achieve and to attain success at any point in time. When you are interested in something, your best can be ascertained. Students that come to school regularly because they want to see all those things. And with that, attendance has improved tremendously. They come to school regularly, they do the assignments, and the performance has been enhanced. It comes logically. And that is the goal of the Lagos State Government, because the YA performance over the five years has been very dismal, poor. So they had to come in with this intervention. And it is get, we are getting the dividends already. In fact, you need to see the students that whenever they have these subjects, they are always eager. Why? Because um, what you see, you learn better. Things are not done in abstract these days. 